Rock, paper, scissors is a hand game played by two or more people where players choose to sign either rock, paper, or scissors with their hands. You ask two friends to play rock, paper, scissors and count the times each option is played. The following table summarizes the data. Use these data to evaluate whether players choose between these three options randomly or if certain options are favored above others. If the players choose between these three options randomly, then the three options should form what would be called a uniform distribution. And to test if these three options form a uniform distribution, we'll use the goodness of fit test. The first step will be to put these three numbers into list one. Next, we'd like to know the total of these three numbers. We can do that by going to list two and then under the list button, select the math menu and then number five for the sum. And we'll ask for the sum of list one. The sum of list one is 99. Since 99 divided by three is 33, if these three options did form a uniform distribution, then the expected number for each of these options should be 33. So we'll put the number 33 as the expected values into list two. To find the chi-squared test statistic, we'll go to the title of list three, and on the formula bar, we'll start with a parentheses, followed by list one minus list two, and the parentheses, the quantity squared, divided by list two. And when we hit enter, we get the contribution of each event to the chi-squared test statistic. To find the chi-squared test statistic, we will sum these three numbers, and that can be done again using the second list button, math menu, selecting five, and here we'll put in the sum of list three, and hit enter. And the number 7.5152 will now be used as one of the inputs into the chi-squared cumulative density function. We'll go to the chi-squared cumulative density function by going to the second distribution button and then selecting number seven, the chi-squared cumulative density function. This is a right tail test where the test statistic is 7.5152. So the first number into this will be 7.5152, then a comma. And since this is a right tail test, we'll now select E99. The calculators understand the of infinity, followed by a comma, and now the degrees of freedom. And since there were three options, the degrees of freedom will be three minus one or two. And when we hit enter, we see that the P value is 0 0.02334. This is a low p-value, and if the p-value is low, we reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the observed data follows the uniform distribution. However, we reject that null hypothesis, which means that certain options are favored above others.